coronavirus has the world on a knife edge. This afternoon, the Prime Minister declared a national emergency, but there's more at stake than our health. This virus is having a financial impact and it'll get worse. We may see some shortages start coming through very soon. These products won't be on our shelves. Car parts factories in China have definitely been crippled. China has come to a halt. The factory workshops of the world are silent. These are European shopping shelves. Is this what's coming down under? Right now there is a lot of volatility. In the days and weeks ahead, we may be seeing more out-of-stock signs, more of our products disappearing. Apple that made an announcement and said the iPhone construction could be delayed. Uh, Kogan has also come out and said it could be problems with supply. Think about it. Most of the things in our favourite stores like Bunnings, Kmart and Officeworks are made in China. Coke has said there may soon be shortages of their sugar-free drinks with artificial sweeteners from China affecting supplies. Most Apple products are made there. And so much more, says Russell Zimmerman from the National Retailers Association. Clothing, footwear, household goods, you know, fridges, washing machines, a lot of that kind of product comes out of China. The widespread factory shutdowns in China as millions of people remain in lockdown subject to strict travel restrictions and quarantine measures means the kids may have to wait longer for that toy. Your orders on blinds or plantation shutters may take weeks or months longer to arrive. And CanStar's Effie Zahos says if you're renovating or building, then get your supplies now. The construction industry will feel some pain as well. If we're relying on imports from China to finish a building, then we can expect delays. Not that many of us have given it a thought. It's not like at the forefront of our minds because it's not really here yet. Not worried about it at this point in time. I think uh, it's a fair way off hitting our shores. More concerned about not catching that virus rather than its side effects. I'm just worried about them getting the coronavirus. I haven't really thought about, like, food produce. Nearly all of us drive a car, and here's something I bet you didn't know. Regardless of the badge, a lot of cars are actually made with Chinese-made parts. Hyundai has issued a consumer warning, says Josh Dowling, from Car Advice. They've advised dealers that they're expecting about half the cars to be affected in the coming months. And the longer the virus goes on... Other brands could follow. And then there's all those small businesses here, reliant on those Chinese tourists. They make up 16% of our market, but spend more than anyone else when they're here, including Americans. Our exporters are starting to feel the pinch because when you look at how big of a player and trade partner China is for us, if they're hurting, we're hurting. So it's a case where the, the, the supply chain has been affected all round. 38% of our exports go to China and businesses here and their idle employees are starting to feel the effects. Our seafood industry is reeling after China put a ban on the live seafood trade. With many Chinese shipping ports and airports in lockdown, our cattle, lamb and iron ore can't be delivered. Australia's Blue Scope Steel forecasts zero profit from exports to China. Qantas has cut flights to Asia, hitting their bottom line. Even our wine industry has taken a hit, with Australia's Treasury wine estates feeling the effects following reduced Chinese consumption. Long term, this could have a huge effect on the supply chain to the retail industry. And don't even look at that red on the board of the stock exchange and worry about your superannuation. Expect to get a hit. Because no matter what happens in the world, history shows it always recovers. Do not worry. Super is a long-term investment. And when you look at the returns over the long run, with the bumps and all, when you look at the share market, it's around 9%, 9 or 10%. And when coronavirus joins bird flu, swine and SARS in the history books, it may take a little while for things to get back to normal here, 
as we are a lower priority on the supply chain from China over bigger markets like America. But there may be one consumer positive in all of this. We could expect to see petrol prices to fall because when you look at the demand of petrol, it's not going to be as high if we're not producing. And finally, a word of warning for us not to do what the Europeans are doing right now. It wouldn't surprise me that people start stockpiling things sort of sooner rather than later. Whatever you do, don't go out panic buying because I think that's the worst thing we can do. Everybody will get what they need if we just take it logically and carefully and don't rush out and panic buy. The Prime Minister has extended Australia's coronavirus travel ban for another week. 